Hi, and welcome to Episode 3 of IVI's Digital Signage Workshop. In this episode, we're going to go over using the Idea Media Players with Scala's Content Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Idea Media Players in conjunction with Scala's Content Manager. For the sake of this video, I'm going to assume that you have the Scala Content Manager installed on your computer and you have access to setup networks and such. So the first thing we're going to do is log into the Scala Content Manager. After you've logged into Scala's Content Manager, you're going to navigate over to the Network area. And under the Network, you can see there's Players, Players Health, Maintenance Jobs, Publish Locations, and Distribution. Well, Network Settings and User Activity. We're going to go ahead and use Distribution. This is where you're going to set up the Idea Bridge Server. As you can see, there's a button up here which says New Bridge Server, and then in parentheses, Idea. Go ahead and click on that. You'll see where there's a couple of different things here. I use, I leave all of this as whatever uh, comes up the system um, default, and then I go ahead and just name it. So I'm going to name this IAVI Idea Bridge. Then click, click out Description. Uh, you don't have to put a description there, just go ahead and click Save. Now that we've added the I Idea Bridge Server, you'll see right under here under Distribution of Players, you'll see a bridge server with the name that we use, which is IVI Idea Bridge. Next step is to add a player. Click on the Players tab, and you can see we currently don't have any players assigned here. We're going to go ahead and assign a new player. So click on New, and then you can see the listing of PC which is just any sort of PC-based uh, player. And then you have the various idea players that are available. Right now we're using the High Definition Media Appliance, so we're going to go ahead and click on that. Then click on Next. Then just go ahead and name it. Now the name can be anything you like. It can be something that um, is the location, or if you have numerous players, just uh, however you want to name it. I'm just going to go ahead and name it IVI XMP. 320. XMP 320 is a model of the player I'm using. And in the description, I'm going to put uh, boardroom. Now, this is where you indicate what channel you want to use. I'm going to go ahead and choose channel 1. And in the configuration, the distribution server, you're going to have to choose the bridge server that we created. This is how it gets its content. So we're choosing the IVI IDEA bridge. Then click on Save. After you've saved the player, it'll come up, and obviously it's not going to have a heartbeat because we haven't activated the bridge server, which we're going to do later. But the first thing you, you do want to go ahead and click on Synchronize Now. What this does is just synchronizes it to the bridge server that we're going to create later. So go ahead and click Synchronize Now and Send Now. I've, I, as you can see, I've got some stuff here that I'm going to be used that's in my playlist. You can click Send Now. Now it's not going to go anywhere, but it does do something for the bridge server, which you'll see later. So now that we've done everything that we can so far on the Scala Content Manager, the next step is to go out and download the Idea Bridge Server. In order to get the Idea Bridge Server for Scala, you'll go to scp.iadea.com. Then you can click on Downloads and click on Idea Bridge Server. Once you get to this page, you can just click on the Download button and you'll get your normal pop-up of do you want to save this, open this, or whatever? Just go ahead and save it, and then you can open it up and install it at, um, whenever you'd like. One thing I should mention is you will have to log in to get this download. Um, if you do not have a current login, you can simply request one when you first go to login. Just say request user login. Uh, once you get that via email, you'll be able to log in and download this bridge server. Assuming you had no problems with the installation of the bridge server, you'll now have it under your programs file. So we're going to go down here and click Start, All Programs. Uh, you can probably see I had it in my quick programs there. And we're going to go down to Idea Bridge Server and then Configure Idea Bridge Server. Now I'm going to configure my Idea Bridge Server. Right here we have the address to the Content Manager because I'm using a local computer. It's just got a local IP address. Here's the username. Now this is the username for my Scala Content Manager because this is going to link these two together. So this is where I'm going to put the password to log in to my Content Manager using that username. 
then you just simply click set and it says connecting to content manager success so now we're connected to the content manager the next thing we have to do is go ahead and associate the bridge server so click on bridge server association now if you have a number of bridge servers you'll see them all listed here you can have quite a few since we've only got one set up we go ahead and click that click set and uh, soon should say success there we go associate bridge server success the next step is to go into your advanced configurations this is where you indicate the player connection uh, and you can see right here it's a server and port uh, so what we want to do is the server since I'm using a, a local computer is going to be 192.168.1-103 that's just where my computer is the the IP address where content manager is located 8080 and then I actually I always check this override connection host port with this which is the same information that I just put in here and for some reason I haven't had luck unless I indicate that and it may be because I am using a local computer however you can try it both ways click set and you can see we have a success in order to do the final step which is the pairing of the player which you find here we need to go in and actually change the um, player to point towards our content manager. So the next step, I'm going to actually show you how to change the idea player uh, and point it toward the content manager. So this is what you're going to see when you first plug a USB keyboard into the idea player. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change the content source to reflect that of our bridge server. So we go down and choose content source choose the server URL, click on change, or choose change, then we're going to type in the address of our uh, bridge server, which is going to be the same as a content manager, except for instead of having content manager at the, at the end, you're going to have forward slash bridge server. As you can see here, I'm typing the address with the port 8080, and then I'm typing in bridge server. Then go ahead and hit enter for OK then scroll over and hit done done and then save settings once you save the uh... the settings what's going to happen now is the player is going to reboot and as you can see here starting up you'll see those three bars um, when the three bars are filled up it'll finish the reboot process and the, at the end result we're going to see what we call the pairing code and you're going to want to make note of that pairing code um, write it down somewhere because that's what we're going to put in our bridge server so you can see right now it's finishing the startup process and there you go there you have the pairing code the four digit code that you need to write down now that we have the pairing code that we know to be 0210 we're going to go ahead and put it into this pairing code field then click pair as you can see we have a success and it shows you the player here an idea high definition paired and it shows the MAC address here so you can either use a MAC address or use the pairing code as uh, we shown okay so I've jumped back over to the Scala content manager and we can see right here we have the XMP320 the IVI XMP320 listed and last heartbeat less than one minute ago it's ready to go it's ready to be sent some content so let's send it some content simply click on the player click on synchronize now and you can see it's building a summary list and click send now and transferring to player that's all there is to it and after just a few moments you can see that the player has successfully received the plan that concludes episode 3 of IVI's digital signage workshop using idea media players with Scala content manager if you'd like a PDF that details the implementation of the Idea Bridge server with Scala's Content Manager, simply email me at toddh, that's T O D D H, at IAVI.com, and I'll send you one. Thank you, and have a great day.